Hello friends, stay with me in this video. I will introduce you to a project that has started after 37 years of practical work. This is the biggest vital project in Western Afghanistan. As you can imagine here in Farah province is the biggest tunneling project for Bakshabad power dam in Farah province. After the completion of these tunnels, the work on this power line will begin. The people of Farah province have been waiting for 37 years to build this dam. And today, this wait has ended. The practical work of the design of the Baksh Abad electric dam in Farah was completed and opened a few years ago. The design work of this electric dam was completed at a cost of $4 million in one and a half years. Although in the past, the construction work of Baksh Abad Farah Dam was delayed due to the presence and widespread activity of armed opponents of the government in Balabolak district of Farah. With the use of this clause, fundamental developments will take place in the social, economic, and agricultural life of the people of Farah and a number of neighboring provinces. Bakshabad Dam is located 100 kilometers from Farah city and approximately 30 kilometers from Herat Kandahar Highway. This embankment has two rivers, Farah Rood and Harry Rood, with the parallel Thani River flowing on the west side of Farah Rood. They flow into Hamun Sabri in Lake Sistan, which has an area of 7,500 square kilometers. And in addition to Hamun Sabri, it is also the sum of Hamun Helmand and Hamun Puzak. I will share about these two rivers at the end of this video. The Diversion Tunnels project of Bakshaba Dam in Farah province was opened. With the construction of Bakshaba Dam, agricultural activities in Farah province will be further strengthened and economic growth will come. The construction of the tunnels of the Bakshabad Dam in Farah province began during a ceremony with the participation of the authorities of the Islamic Emirate. Reconstruction of Afghanistan's economic infrastructure requires a lot of work, and efforts to progress in the economic field have begun in earnest. Bakshabad Dam of Farah province has the capacity to irrigate 69,000 hectares of agricultural land, which will be done through two canals, one 50 kilometers and the other 52 kilometers long. At a cost of more than 11 million US dollars, the construction of the diversion tunnels of this dam has begun, which will be completed by the end of this year. After the completion of the tunnels, work will begin on other parts of the dam. The construction of the tunnels, which will cost 11 million dollars, is underway. After that, the work on the dam itself will begin immediately of course, the construction of the tunnels will begin at the end of this year. It ends. Meanwhile, the residents of Farah say that they are looking forward to the arrival of light from this dam to their homes. A resident of Farah province says that when I was 12 years old, my great-grandfather said that the practical work of Baksh Abad Dam in Farah will be started by the government. But now, after 37 years, the practical work of this dam has started. He said that the construction of the Bakshabad Dam will increase agriculture in this province. We want the Bakshabad Dam to be built. The water level of the wells will rise and people's agriculture will improve. People will benefit from electricity. In short, it is a very good thing. This dam has the capacity to produce 27 megawatts of electricity. As it was mentioned at the beginning, the project work of this section was completed a few years ago at the cost of 4 million US dollars. According to experts, if the dam is completed, it will have the ability to store more than 1, 360 million cubic meters of water and the capacity to produce 27 megawatts of electricity. This dam will also irrigate tens of thousands of hectares of land. Meanwhile, the Ministry of Energy and Water has said that the construction of the Bakshabad Dam requires $430 million of funding and that the caretaker government needs the financial cooperation of the people to provide this funding. This clause has five, six, and seven phases. Currently, the work phase of tunnels, bowls, road bitumen, and canals is going on. Bakshabad Dam will be built in several stages at a cost of $430 million. This project is carried out by a domestic construction company with the technical cooperation of German and Turkish companies. The official of Bakshabad Dam contractor said, This dam has several phases. The first phase of the tunnels. 
The work of two tunnels is practically going on in a standard way, and these tunnels will be finished almost by the end of this year. This dam is built on the Farah Rood River. Farah Rood is a river that flows in the west of Afghanistan. This river is 560 kilometers long and flows into Hamon Helmand on the border of Iran and Afghanistan. This river passes by the city of Farah. In 2019, Ashraf Ghani promised the people of Farah to start the Bakshabad Dam. Mohammad Ashraf Ghani, the president of Afghanistan at the time, during his visit to Farah province, said that the detailed design work of Bakshabad Dam in this province has been completed and in the near future, the contract for the diversion channels of this dam will be started in the final National Procurement Commission and the practical work of this dam will begin. He said that he will try to build Bakshabad Dam. Bakshabad Dam is built on the Farah Rood River, whose water flows into Iran. According to the studies of the Afghan government, the length of this dam is estimated to be about 27 kilometers. This dam has the ability to store about 1 billion cubic meters of water. Hari Rood is the name of a river with a length of 1,100 kilometers that originates from the highlands of Lal and Sarjangal districts and passes through Gore and Herat provinces in Afghanistan, crosses the common border of Afghanistan and Iran, and finally ends in the Karakam Desert. Hari Rood is the second most important river in Afghanistan after Hirmand, which belongs to the Hari Rood catchment area in the northwest of Afghanistan. The first source of Hari River is the Lal and Sarjangal rivers, which originates from the west of Baba Mountain and flows towards the city of Firozko. In Dolatyar region, it is joined by other seas, and from there on, it is called Hari Rood. The most important branch of it in the south is the Tagab Oshlan River, which originates from the north of the western Black Mountains and flows parallel to Hari Rood and joins it in Marve region. Its important northern branch is the Kuruk Sea, which originates from the south of the western Sefid Kau mountain range and joins it in the Kuruk region. Kurok Sea is 95 kilometers long and its catchment area is 7,820 square km. Thank you for watching.